so today we are doing um, the same as yesterday, writing explicit and recursive equations, but we're given a graph. So the first thing you have to do is be able to recognize that if the graph, this is definitely not linear. This is expo actually exponential decay. So you have exponential growth and exponential decay. This is actually going down, so it's exponential decay. So we're gonna take this graph, which looks beautiful here, and we're just gonna try to make a graph on our paper. So go ahead and copy this down, notes page 18, label your x, y axis, and we're gonna label a couple of points. At zero, it crosses at 45, at one, it, it's up at 15, and at two, it's up at five. And again, I didn't scale it, I just kinda made the natural shape of the graph. Now, one thing that you wanna do is, some of you don't have to do this, but it actually helps me have your notes out, but it also helps me to make a table of values. At zero, it's at 45. At one, it's at 15. And at two, it's at five. Just to kind of help you see how that pattern is growing. Well, the first thing I notice is that the pattern is not growing, it's going down. So how is it going down? Okay, well, 45 to 15, 15 to five. Oh, you're dividing by three. 45 divided by three is 15, 15 divided by three is five. Well, the problem is we only have geometric sequences and in geometric sequences, you have to multiply. You cannot say that you are dividing. So in this case, if you're dividing by three, it's the same thing as multiplying by one third. Okay, so in this case, if you have 45 divided by three, Well, we know that's 15, but if you have 45 times one third, so that's a, like a one divided by three, it's still 15. So that's why we don't say it's dividing by three, we say it's multiplying by one third. All right, gonna go to my explicit and recursive equations. So for this case, my formula, the explicit equation, I have two choices. I can either use the zero term or the first term. It's very easy for me to use the zero term because I have that here. So all I need is explicit f of x equals my zero term. Well, my zero term is 45. My common ratio, my common ratio is one third. And then again, it's to the x power. That's it for the explicit. Recursive is easier. So for the recursive, f of x equals your common ratio, one third, times the previous term, f of x, minus one. All right, so problem number two is actually a little bit more difficult because, well, we have exponential growth and we can see it's growing based on the graph. Um, again, we know it's geometric because it's not a straight line. So copy this down. We have our x-axis, our y-axis, crosses at six, 1,458, and at seven, 4,374 but we don't know our y-intercept, um, our zero value, or our first value, so that's gonna be kind of a pain. I'm gonna do the same thing I did here, and I'm gonna go to making a table of values, just because I always think that's easiest for me. I'm gonna go zero, So I made my table of values and that actually did not help me. I don't know 
you know, how to get from here to here. So whenever you have a geometric equation and you have two consecutive terms, meaning one right after the other, like if I had the second and the third term, the fourth and fifth, or the fifth and sixth term, or the sixth and seventh, you can always take the second number and divide it by the first one. The reason by that, and that'll give you your ratio. The reason for that is because for 1,458 times some number is equal to this. So to figure out what that number is, what you're multiplying by, you divide by the second number. So if you have two numbers that are right next to each other, you can take the second term and divide it by that first one. So the second one divided by the first one. Um, if you had the first term and the fifth term, that doesn't work. It's only when you have terms that are right next to each other. So I'm gonna use my calculator, 4374. And I get three. So that means that this is being multiplied by three every time. Now, I need either my zero term or my first term. So to go backwards, I'm going to take 1,458 and divide it by three. So this should be 486, divide it by three again, 162. And there is an algebraic method to do this, um, but I just went ahead and completed the table this way. All right, so here we go. Now I could go to my zero term. I'm just gonna go to my first term. Gonna go and write the explicit. I have all the information I need. So for the explicit using the first term, it's gonna be this formula right here. So explicit equation is f of x equals, my first term is six. My common ratio is three. Raised to the x minus 1 because I used the first term. Okay, if you use the zero term, this would have been 2 and it would have been. Okay, so either that equation or this one. The recursive equation, again, is a lot easier. It's just telling you how it's growing by. So f of x equals, it's growing by 3 every time. So three times that previous term. Okay, and that's it.